Hi, here is a bunch of super quick and easy snack ideas for busy work or study days. I filmed this video in kind of a what I eat in a week type format, challenging myself to try one new recipe every day. So I hope you enjoy. Also, support today comes from Squarespace. Okay, so the week I decided to film starts on a Thursday, which I know is not very satisfying, but just go with it. I got this Instagram DM recently suggesting I should try this peanut caramel, which is based on a Fit Green Mind recipe. Shout out to Maya. So for the quote-unquote caramel, you simply combine some smooth natural peanut butter, agave or maple syrup, vanilla, and I also added a pinch of salt. Depending on the consistency of the peanut butter, you may want to add a bit of plant-based milk or yogurt, but that wasn't necessary in my case. So I ended up just serving this on top of a bowl of yogurt that I first added some vanilla protein powder to. Also some green apple chunks. Yeah, this stuff is really nice. For my coffee today, I thought it would be fun to do a filter coffee, but pouring the coffee on top of a chai tea bag. I might have done this before in the past, I can't remember, but it sounds really good to me, so I'm gonna make that in a second. Last night, I decided to move my body for the first time in like two weeks and I did a full-on 90-minute yoga workout class and it did something to me. <laughs> Everything hurts, but not in a good way, you know? It's not in a like, oh, I feel so sore type of way. It's more in a like, I can't really breathe. <laughs> the chai coffee was so good, by the way. As for my back pain, I found that a hot water bottle pressed against my lower back helped a little bit. I switched to working on my sofa pretty much immediately and just laid on my back for the rest of the day and that kind of did the trick. The next day I made this super quick and simple healthier cookie dough. It only uses a few ingredients, none of which are beans. Although if you are interested in a bean related cookie dough recipe, I will link mine from a couple years ago in the description. So this one's based on oats. To a small blender, add some quick cooking or rolled oats alongside a pinch of salt and blend that up to make oat flour. Once you have your flour, add the melted coconut oil or vegan butter, the liquid sweetener and vanilla. I made the mistake of blending up everything again inside the blender. And since it's only one serving, the blender has a bit of a hard time with it. And so I would actually recommend that you transfer the flour to a separate mixing bowl and add all the wet ingredients to that. Makes things a bit easier. If the texture feels a bit dry, add a splash of milk, mix, mix, mix. And then finish this off with any desired toppings. I went for some dark chocolate chunks and mini salted pretzels. Some fruit would be really nice here too. So some berries, apple chunks. Here's another back pain update. I got so many amazing tips from you guys over on Instagram, a few of which I will insert here, but keep in mind, I'm not a doctor. Although some of you sound like doctors. On Saturday, I had a bit of a co-working session with my mom who was visiting me. The snacks that I provided very much remind me of a traditional girl dinner or girl snack rather. We're starting with a few vegan chicken nuggets that I just cooked up according to the packaging. I'm not huge on meat substitutes, but I'm definitely very thankful for the existence of vegan chicken nuggets. And as for the dipping sauce, I combined some plain hummus with some sriracha mayonnaise. Also, there were some tiny pretzels involved again. This may not be the most aesthetically pleasing thing I've ever shared on here, but it's what we had. One of my mom's favorite things is raisin bread. And so I thought I would bake her some today. We're basically doing a vegan brioche and adding raisins to it. Should be, should be easy. 
Okay, so I know what you're thinking. Baking an entire bread may seem like the opposite of a five minute snack recipe, and it is. But if you think about it from my mom's perspective, it's gonna take her less than five minutes to give it a quick toast, add a bit of butter to the top, maybe some syrup, a pinch of salt, or a sprinkle of cinnamon even, and enjoy. Melt the vegan butter inside a small to medium sized saucepan. In the meantime, grab a large mixing bowl and add the hot water, the cold plant-based milk, some sugar, and vanilla, and give that a quick mix. Next, sprinkle over the dry active yeast, and put this somewhere warm for about 5-10 to 10 minutes or until the mixture becomes nice and frothy. In the meantime, measure out the flour and add some salt to that. Then add the melted butter to the yeast mixture, followed by the flour mixture. Mix everything using a wooden spoon until pretty much combined. Then transfer this to your surface and knead with your hands for 5 to 10 minutes. Halfway through, make sure to also add the raisins. Line an 8 inch loaf pan with some wet parchment paper, then add your loaf and again place this somewhere warm for about an hour this time or until it has risen quite a bit, almost having doubled in size. Once you're ready to bake, preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Feel free to brush this with some syrup right before baking and then allow it to bake for 30 to 35 minutes or until it becomes a dark golden brown. To ensure that the bread is baked through fully, you can insert a knife and see if it comes out clean, then allow it to sit and rest before cutting into it. Ideally, put it somewhere cold, so I just put it outside my window onto the construction scaffolding next to my kitchen for about 15 minutes, and that worked perfectly fine. But you can also just leave it on the counter at room temperature for about an hour, and then slice it up and serve it with whatever you like. This next work snack that I made, um, I'm doing research for an upcoming movie related video that should be out next week. This is a really, really simple tofu snack that I make all the time. It starts out by cutting up some tofu into bite sized pieces. I've got half a block of smoked tofu and half a block of regular pressed tofu that I got from the Asian supermarket. It is amazing. I added a tablespoon of flour to the tofu cubes and also some salt and then mix that up. So I pan fried the tofu chunks in a little bit of oil over medium heat for about five, maybe six minutes, stirring here and there. And then I deglazed everything with some soy sauce, some Chinese chili crisp sauce, some ketchup and some balsamic vinegar. Gave that another two minutes or so. And just before it was finished, I also added a spring onion. And that's it. If you want to make a whole meal out of this, which I highly recommend, then make sure to serve this with some greens, maybe some steamed broccoli and some rice. That in and of itself is so nice. It's so, so good. By Tuesday, I was running out of quick snack ideas and so I took to TikTok. I've been seeing these cheese filled toast rolls everywhere. They're basically just a more quirky version of grilled cheese. Um, and so I wanted to see if they actually work and if they're actually really, really easy to make. So first I grabbed some sandwich bread. Now most of the videos tell you to cut off the crust, but I skipped that step. Using a rolling pin, you flatten these as thinly as you can. You also add some vegan cheese, roll these up as tightly as you can, make sure to melt some vegan butter, bring it to medium high heat. Now this might be due to my rolling technique, but I found that it was pretty difficult for the rolls to keep their shape. 
Um, and so when placing them inside the pan, make sure to hold them down just until they're able to keep their shape and then they're really easy to fry. I cooked these for a total of four minutes, rotating ever so often, and that's it. Oh, also, side note, I've been obsessed recently with fresh thyme tea. It tastes a little savory, and it's supposed to also come with a bunch of health benefits. My mom got me really into it when she was staying with me for a few days. I love doing work at cafes, although I get quite easily distracted by everything that's happening around me. I would definitely recommend this place, especially if you're looking to work or study outside somewhere. I have a few more cafe recommendations over on my TikTok. If you haven't checked those out yet, the link will be down below. So this is not part of my snack recipe week anymore, but I have to share this with you guys regardless. I hosted a Twilight movie night and we didn't just watch the movie, we also played Twilight Bingo. I created this sheet. This took me way longer than I would like to admit, um, but I'm really proud of it. <laughs> I was wondering, does anybody want this? I can see if I can make like a Google Doc or something similar for you guys to download it. Maybe check the description. It, it might already be there. I also made these blueberry crumb muffins for this evening, which are basically the ones from the second movie. By the way, thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Create a beautiful online presence and grow your business and brand at the same time using Squarespace. Whether you are in need of a new website, a cool new logo, or you want to create your own online newsletter, Squarespace has got you covered. And on top of that, they now also offer all the tools you need to create your own online course. Start with a layout that fits your aesthetic, upload videos, and customize the course to your liking really easily. You can charge a one-time fee or sell subscriptions. And if you need any extra guidance along the way, they have a 24-7 award-winning customer service. Give it a try. Go to squarespace.com slash minarome and use the code minarome to get 10% off of your first purchase of a new website or domain. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Subscribe if you haven't already. Maybe leave me a little thumbs up. Maybe a comment. And that's it. Bye. <laughs>